Hi, this next one's a motorcycle, and I'm going to show you three variations. Blow it up and leave about a four to three inch tail somewhere in that vicinity. Go back to the nozzle end, do a one inch bubble, three to four inch fold twist. Tuck that in here, that's the back wheel. To make a seat, you do a one inch bubble and do a pinch twist. Now you have the back seat and the wheel. Do about a hand width, do a one inch bubble, pinch twist. Do a two inch bubble, then do a five bubble pop twist. This is for the handlebars. My balloon feels tight. So if your balloon feels tight while you're twisting, the uninflated part, you can kind of give it a squish. So that way it'll be less tight to work with. Do a one inch bubble, pinch twist. Now, for the front wheel, all you do is you measure longer. See, it's a longer spoke. Curl it up. And twist it so there's a little bubble here at the end and there's a little wheel here. Then take this little bubble and tuck it in this wheel. Like you did the back wheel. Give it a little bend. Pop the bubble in between. And you have a really cool looking motorcycle. Now to do a variation on that, I'm going to show you one where the front spoke is shorter and the back one's longer. Here it goes. See? Longer. Here are the handlebars. Notice that the handlebars are also a tad shorter. Looking a little tight there. Oh, boy, that's a tight one. Oh, these are tight. Now, it doesn't look like... Oh, yeah, it does. I give that a twist. Notice that this is shorter than the other one. It's a bigger wheel too, to a degree. Now you have one with a shorter front spokes and a longer seating area. Maybe a motorcycle built for two. Now the next one we're going to do is super long handlebars and everything else is short. Short seating area. Super long handlebars. Why? Because you can. Maybe call it a mini bike for a kid. Make the little headlights. That's what this pinch twist is right here. Short. Tuck that in the wheel. Now you have a third different variation of a one balloon motorcycle. The last one was three different motorcycles. This is a monkey riding a motorcycle. Inflate the balloon about halfway. Start with a one inch bubble. Do a half inch bubble, pinch twist it. Do another one inch bubble, another half inch bubble, pinch twist it. And here you have the monkey's head to a degree. Now you wring his neck, kind of, arrange the ears and you have the monkey's head. 
Now do a one inch bubble, then you do six one inch bubbles or half inch bubbles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lock twist those six together, like so. Do a one to two inch bubble, do a pinch twist. Do another pinch twist of the same size. Now do a small fold twist, like so. Tuck one of those pinch twists in the wheel, like so. And stick this one going out. Do a one inch bubble right here. Tuck this so it wedges. You shoot this through here. And tuck it until it rests down here. Position the monkey's head forward. Now make the front wheel. Easy. One inch, one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch. Bubble. Squeeze another bubble. It's not cooperating. If it doesn't cooperate, tell it to behave. Behave. So you have a little bubble and a little fold twist. Tuck this in here. It'll fit. Just work it in. That is the front wheel of the motorcycle. Wedge the head so he's facing forward. Give him a few little, little eyes. And remember, this monkey loves bananas. This next one is a syringe. I've made this for dentists, for doctors. They loved it. Start with a balloon that's blown up about halfway. Do a an apple twist. Twist it a whole bunch of times because that's going to have to stay up there. Now the next step is to squeeze a whole bunch of the air away from that. And you just keep on working it down. See, there's the plunger part of the syringe. And get it down about yay far. You block the air from going off right here. And you do a one inch bubble or half inch bubble. You see right about through here. Do a half inch bubble. Pinch twist it. Do another half inch bubble. Pinch twist it. Straighten the syringe out. And you see, you can see this is one big, you know what, syringe. And you can add little markings on it too if you wish. Actually not that difficult. But the doctors love it.